Print checks in new QuickBooks Online. Uh, print checks is trending now on new QuickBooks Online blog and community forum. And I thought to do this video this morning. Uh, print checks, this is uh, QuickBooks Online plus uh, logged in. This is the home screen. So print checks used to be in here, print checks right here, transaction from the uh, blue navigation bar, home screen here, transactions, print checks right here. But they have, uh, they recently moved print checks feature to somewhere else and uh, uh, no instruction, no information, anything, they just moved. So now let's see where they move. So right now, as you can see here, this is a newer version, newer than this. This is a newer too. So they have a newer, newer, newer version right here. And as you can see here, you don't see uh, print checks here. It's gone. Print checks is missing. So what they did was they moved print checks in here, under still under transactions, but they moved to expenses, and print checks but not separate anymore so if you click expenses you will see print checks is here it's not even blue uh, button here just says print check so if you just print click here it's still here print check you can click uh, uh, print check and do bad print here uh, let's just say uh, starting check number is 1001 and uh, you can preview and print here before we do that let's just see the setup here print setup here print setup right here this is basically the print sample setup you just select which voucher you want is it voucher type or standard type or load blank label in your printer and just print and view so if you just print and view you will see right here it looks like this right here so if everything was good when you print it then then it's all right then just say i'm finished with setup let's just click click uh, preview and print here preview and print so starting check number let's say it's 1001 and before we do that if you just want to print a list you can just print a list here. So this is a print list with checks. It, it, it won't assign check number yet, but basically it will just print list of checks to be printed here. So uh, it's basically, so if you're ready to print, just pre preview and print right here. And if you want to set up uh, 300 items in one page, one page here, you can select this one and edit columns they are all here uh, so let's just preview and print right here okay so this is the big problem here it will just say print preview and there is nowhere you'll see print checks button here nowhere missing so how are you going to print this so obviously first thing you need is the you got to have a pdf file uh, in your uh, compatible with your Google Chrome browser, so you've got to have a PDF uh, Acrobat Reader installed, and so this is like a PDF type file. So if you hover around your mouse here, you will see uh, print button right here. This is print button right here. You see the save and enlarge and shrink it. And if you want to make it bigger, you can make it bigger here like this. And if you can, you can make it smaller here and bigger here like this zoom it uh, so the print button is right here so if you click print button this is the one we're looking for so if here if you're just here you don't see any print button here print preview close that's it no print button but if you hover around your mouse this side you will see this print here so this is a print button so click print then you can see you can print all the checks here And then it's basically you just click this one right here, 
print using dialog or I can just do control shift P. So this is where you print. Just click this and then your print brow print uh, uh, driver comes up the screen here and you say print. So this is how you print. So let's do it one more time. And it will ask you, uh, uh, did your check print okay? Uh, it will say no, we want to keep all checks in print checklist for now. So still here, you can unclick check it here like this. Uh, and uh, print and preview, basically print and preview right here. Check numbers, starting check number is still here. Make sure check starting check number is the correct one. Otherwise, uh, it will be a mess. And make sure your checking count is the correct one. Checking account. And so three checks selected. And make sure you have enough money in your bank account. And then just print, preview and print. And hold your mouse here, right here. This is what it is, right here. This is the one. And if you just want to save it for your future printing, you can just save it here. This is the save button. Print right here. So that's what it is, and if you're done, then you can just say yes, they all printed correctly, or you can want to print, uh, reprint again, like this, reprint, still there, so just reprint. If you want to pick, print one check, you can just select one check here, like this, or select all, select all, like this. So this is how you uh, print checks. So. And it's still easy, but uh, print button uh, made this big nightmare. So basically, this is move print check feature from transactions, print checks to transactions, expense, and then print checks. That's still a big nightmare to many users here. Uh, and if you're just writing manual check, you can just go in here, and here's your check here. Let's say you wrote manual check and you just want to enter it and you don't want to print it. Just go in here. This is your uh, plus create sign here, this check. So you wrote manual check and you don't want to print it. If the manual check number is different than your standard voucher check, you can just put it in here. Let's say it's uh, 2001. You can just do it here. There's no need to print it, so uncheck this print letter button. So it will just assign check number and then go from there. Let's say you want to write a check to uh, FedEx for, uh, for some shipping stuff. Like this so you sign manual check number you just wrote a manual check you don't need to mail it anything it is manual check and we'll say soon that this manual check is not check number is different than your, uh, your uh, computer check so 2001 and the save and close done and uh, if you need to pay bills just come here and just Pay bills, it will take you to the same place. See right here. So right now there's no bills to pay. And you can write a, you can select, a, you can enter bill, bill here. And pay later. Let's say, AAA insurance. Save and close. And now you have, uh, as you can see here, pay bills. If you go to pay bills, it will take you to the same place right here. And home page, let's say, one of the pay bills. It will take you to the same place. And starting check number, you can assign any check number you want. And select the uh, bank account right here. Just select this one. This is the amount you want to pay and just say pay and print, it's right here, pay and print, pay and print right here. So now it's one more check added. So this comes from bill payment, bill check. 
pay bills and the check screen here so that it will identify by the type of uh, entries you make and just select all and it's back to business again so you can preview and print all four checks like this one two three four and everything was good then just print this like this and then just print it this print right here select your printer and it's done Now say everything printed correctly, say done, now it's gone. It's not no longer on your list to print it. Print checks is empty now and the job is done. So that's about it and uh, thank you for watching and uh, tip number one is still to use Google Chrome browser on navigating the new QuickBooks and uh, uh, if you have any questions you can visit our website here. It's newqbo.com http newqbo.com so this is our website here newqbo.com you can visit our website and look at all the sources you need for new quickbooks online thank you for watching have a nice day bye